I'm Jack Houghton. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Falmouth, Massachusetts, and I really got into fishing when I was little. My dad used to take me out commercial fishing, and my mom moved on to a pond on Cape Cod. I started bass fishing every day, and I just fell in love with it. So I discovered kayak fishing when I got too lazy to drag the John boat down to the pond every day, and my mom bought me a sit at my first sit atop kayak, and I thought I loved that thing. Then I used my first old town at Kayak University, and it was just no going back. There's nothing like it. I mean, I, I know I can take this kayak in almost anything, and I'll be perfectly safe, and that alone is worth it. And then the whole balance, standing up, fishing, it's just a complete game changer. I bass fish out of the PDL, the Sportsman PDL 106. I like how it's just so compact and I can stand up in it. I don't have to worry about tipping every time I stand up. Storage space is ridiculous. I've never filled my kayak completely and I don't think I own enough gear to be able to. I use my kayak to catch trout, stripers, sea bass, largemouth, smallmouth, pretty much any species on Cape Cod I go after. Our Cape Cod freshwater fishery is mostly small herring fed ponds. The herring swim up in the spring, spawn and then swim out and that's why you can have a small pond with such big fish. Those herring bring all the nutrients in from salt water and put them in the ponds and the bass eat them and I think a lot of guys think of the tatog, the sea bass, the striper but not a lot of people really realize that we have an insane fishery on Cape Cod. I mean, we get the herring that bring nutrients up into the rivers and ponds, and it presents an awesome opportunity for kayak anglers. I mean, a lot of these ponds don't have boat ramps. I know a lot of ponds that it's a path through the woods, and the kayak really just opens up a whole new world for the small ponds. I set up my kayak for bass, and I use the Humminbird Helix 7 Fish Finder. That's opened a whole new world for me. I mean, all these smaller ponds on Cape, barely any of them are charted. So the auto chart feature is a game changer. I can find deep water spots. I can find new rivers, streams, anything. On Cape Cod right now, we're in pre-spawn. And so what I do is I use my Humminbird and I go out and I try and find points where the fish are coming off there winter spots and coming up shallow feeding and looking for a place to spawn. And then once the spawn comes around, I go around the edges looking for beds. And then once we get into the dog days of summer, I think half the fish move shallow, half move deep. That's where the hummingbird really comes in handy. I can find those isolated schools of fish out deep. I like to throw wacky rigs, Nico rigs, um, Texas rigs, a lot of soft plastics. And then my, I really only fish two hard baits. I throw glide baits or big hard plastic swim baits. And then I like fishing lipless crankbaits and yo-yoing them off the bottom. My biggest out of a Cape Cod pond, I don't know for sure, but it was estimated to be around six to seven. I was probably eight years old when I caught that fish. <laughs> the way I fish for, or I try and go after my PB, is I fish deeper than most other people would because I feel like those bigger largemouth bass are a lot smarter. They know the more nutritious food is out deep, like perch and trout. So I think they're gonna stay out deep most of the summer and that's where I focus most of my time. I actually have a goals list for my new Old Town PDL 106 and one of them's a 40 inch striper. Um, another one is I wanna beat my largemouth bass, personal best and smallmouth bass. And then I just mostly want to fish new water. I mean, I love fishing new lakes. There's a lot of ponds on the Cape I've never tried, and that's my plan for this season.